in Windsor Castle by Henry Howard, Earl of Surrey. So cruel prison, how could betide, alas, as proud Windsor, where I in lust and joy with the king's son my childish years did pass, in greater feast than Priam's sons of Troy. Where each sweet place returns a taste full sour, the large green courts where we were wont to hold, with eyes cast up unto the maiden's tower, and easy sights, such as folk draw in love, the stately sails, the ladies bright of hue, the dances short, long tales of great delight, with words and looks that tigers could but rue, where each of us did plead the other's right. The palm play where, despoiled for the game, with dazed eyes, off we by gleams of love, have missed the ball and got sight of her dame, to bait her eyes, which kept the lids above. The gravelled ground, with sleeves tied on the helm, a foaming horse with swords and friendly hearts, with cheer, as though the one should overwhelm, where we have fought and chased oft with darts, with silver drops the meads yet spread for Ruth, in active games of nimbleness and strength, where we did strain, trailed by swarms of youth, our tender limbs that yet shot up in length. The secret groves which oft we made resound of pleasant plaint and of our lady's praise, recording soft what grace each one had found, with hope of speed, what dread of long delays. The wild forest, the clothed halts with green, with reins availed and swiftly braided horse, with cry of hounds and merry blasts between, where we did chase the fearful heart of force. The void walls eek that harboured us each night, wherewith, alas, revive within my breast. The sweet accord, such sleeps as yet delight, the pleasant dreams, the quiet bed of rest. The secret thoughts imparted with such trust, the wanton talk, the diver's change of play. The friendship sworn, each promise kept so just, wherewith we pass the winter nights away. And with this thought, the blood forsakes my face, the tears beray in my cheeks of deadly hue. The witch as soon as sobbing sighs, alas, upsouped have thus I will plend renew. O place of bliss, renewer of my woes, give me account where is my noble fair. Whom in thy walls thou didst each night enclose, to other leaf but unto me most dear. Echo, alas, that doth my sorrow rue returns thereto a hollow sound of plaint. Thus I alone, where all my freedom grew, in prison pine with bondage and restraint, and with remembrance of the greatest grief, to banish the less, I find my chief relief.